So today I'm looking at a really cool extension that works in both Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. It's called Watchtower, and it allows you to sync up your system folders with your project bins. Now this is really cool, so you can have it set up to automatically sync. So anytime you add new files into your system folders, it will automatically import those into your project, which is really, really useful. As always, if you want to pick up a copy of it, follow my affiliate link in the video description. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so I have Adobe Premiere Pro open, and if I go over to my system folder here, let's say I'm going to start a project here and I'm working with some photographs. So if I open up my images folder here, I have a time lapse. This is just a sequence of a bunch of photos here. And then I have some stock images, like seven or eight stock images. So let's bring these into Premiere Pro using Watchtower. So I'm going to go up to Window, Extensions, and then select Watchtower. I've already installed it. Now one thing I love about this is how simple it is. That's it. That's the whole extension. You have a refresh, you have this folder button here, and then you have settings. So first thing we want to do is we want to import some stuff. So I'm going to click on this. And it's going to automatically open up wherever your project file is. So I have my project file here, but you can see here is the images file. So if I open this up here, we can see that time lapse subfolder and the stock images subfolder. So right now I can click on this and that's going to highlight all of these, which will automatically bring these in. But this one's sequence. So if I click this one again, you're going to see now it's this orange S. So that's going to import that as an image sequence. I'm going to click OK. Those are going to import. OK, and it gives me a notification here. Nine files added. I can close that. Now if I open this up, we can see these are both added. And here it's taken all those images and imported them as a sequence. And now we can see this is roughly 30 frames per second. So if I drag that into a new sequence, you can see there's the new sequence that is now a lovely time lapse. All right, you can see these are all JPEGs now. Let's say I want to bring in a new Photoshop file that I have here. So I'm going to drag this over to the Watchtower folder. And let's put that directly in our images uh, root folder here. OK, I don't need to put it in any of those subfolders unless I want to. Now I'm going to go back here to Premiere. And I'm going to close these subfolders here. And let's just go ahead and hit refresh, because it's already uh, checked up and synced up. So let's just go ahead and sync it. Now it actually gives us this import dialog box. So we can specify, because it's a PSD, we can specify how we want to bring in this PSD. So we can bring it in as, um, as a sequence with individual layer files. Click OK. And now, voila, that brings that in. We get the notification here, three new images, because it broke this up. It has the two images and the sequence here. Very, very cool. Now if you go here to settings, you can see there's a number of different things I can do. I can set it up to automatically sync every 15 minutes. I can change this to whenever I want. Let's say I want it to be 30 minutes. Um, I can specify if I want to bring in project files from Adobe After Effects or Premiere Pro. And can turn on notifications. I can switch the layout of the buttons here. Pretty cool. All right, now let's jump over to After Effects. Now here I have the same panel inside of Adobe After Effects, but if I go to the settings, there's a couple of additional settings here, mainly um, how I can specify how I want to bring in Photoshop and Illustrator files. So I can import them as footage, composition, or composition with, uh, layers, with the layer sizes retained. So let's just click on composition, and everything else is kind of the same. I can have this set up to automatically sync. I can specify if I want to bring in the project files, show notifications, set the vertical, Perfectly fine. Now I'm going to open up this directory again, and it's going to have that automatically open here. Let's click on images, and we'll do the same thing here. I need to switch this to sequence. Click OK. OK, now I have my images folder. And it didn't bring up that Photoshop dialog box because I obviously set that up before. So it's got that set up. And for my time lapse, now we have that sequence file, and there it is. So if you're working on a big project and you have uh, kind of assets flying all over the place and um, maybe you have a big crew and they're bringing in you know, images constantly, you could have one guy doing research, dropping in um, you know, images or video clips into a folder and you don't even have to worry about it. It'll automatically sync up and um, voila, it'll be in your project and you can open it up. Really cool, whether you're working by yourself or on a team, this is um, definitely worth the money. I actually have a good example of a story of how this tool could have helped me out. 
So about four years ago, I was editing a compilation video of testimonials for a client. And this particular client was collecting all these testimonial videos from his clients and sending them to me. They were videos shot on cell phone or webcams. And he was sending them to me via like Dropbox links. And he didn't send them all at once. He was kind of sending them as he collected them. And I was editing the video together as he sent them. The time came where I finally had a final cut that I sent to him. And he ended up saying, hey, this is amazing, I like it, but why didn't you use John's testimonial? And I said, I used every testimonial that you sent me. And he said, no, I sent you one that you didn't use. So I looked back and turns out I had added the video, I downloaded it, added it to my uh, system folder, and I forgot to import it. So that's one of those cases where luckily the client was not upset, but that could have I could have been um, in big trouble if it was a bigger project. So that right there is one reason why this tool is gonna to come in handy. Plus, I really just like the idea of setting up your system folders one time and then just clicking on that sync button, have it update every 15 to 30 minutes, and then you're good to go. You don't really have to dive into those system folders anymore. Okay, so that's Watchtower. I really suggest you follow that affiliate link in the video description and go pick up a copy. And um, be sure to go check out the trailer that the creator put together. It's really, really fun. The design is fun. His website is really cool. Um, so I, I highly suggest you go check that out and I really hope this creator puts out some more tools because this one's pretty amazing. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.